channel if you're new to this channel make sure you hit that subscribe button I make videos with my husband Joel who is not here right now but he will be in this video shortly so um I thought a lot about making a video like this and Joel actually didn't really make me feel like it was a good idea but I I think it's a good idea and I know that I've been MIA for those of you who've been following us from the beginning and I'm here to explain kind of what I've been going through and why I'm about to do what I'm going to do. So, um, I am now in my third trimester of pregnancy. Let me show you guys. I don't know if you can see. There's my belly. So, um, I wanted to share this with you guys because it took me a long time to get to the place that I am right now. And contrary to popular belief, I am not perfect. And um, a lot of people don't know this. I didn't talk about it at all, but. I don't know if you guys have noticed. I know some people did notice how I've been MIA. I don't really post. Um, our channel has also slowed down a little bit. And that is because pregnancy has really taken a toll on my self-esteem. Um, a lot of people also don't know this, but the same day of our gender reveal, actually probably a day later, I cried myself to sleep. And I was just really depressed during that whole time. The gender reveal is actually the first time when a lot of people saw me pregnant. Um, I don't take pictures, I don't, I wasn't really that girl who was taking pictures of my progress every week and it's because I felt so ugly. I didn't feel like myself. I was always crying. Um, my body just changed a lot. My legs are bigger. My arms are bigger. My face is bigger. My boobs. My stomach obviously and I've always been a real confident person, so when all of these changes started happening to me, I was really depressed and sad. My clothes stopped fitting me. I had to keep going up in sizes and clothes. Um, I would try to find cute stuff to wear, and everything looked so ugly like I it was a mission for me to find something to wear for the gender reveal and I actually got lucky with what I found which by the way I was only able to wear once because my boobs have gotten so big that I actually sweated and I sweated the entire dress where my boobs are and I can't clean it I can't take it to the dry cleaners the fabric so it was really like a one-time dress thing and I don't even know what to do with the dress anymore so the day of the gender reveal people were taking a lot of photos of me they were posting them on social media they were recording me and posting the videos and I understand because people were excited but when I saw those videos when I saw those videos and those photos I couldn't help but just feel so devastated because I felt so ugly and I felt like I looked so ugly and people kept telling me how beautiful I am like Joel tells me all the time that I'm so beautiful and that I look beautiful and that this is only temporary etc etc but people saying it and you feeling it are two different things like 
I used to cry the past trimesters and just hope that I could feel the way that people were saying that I looked because I did not feel that way. And it was really an inner struggle. And you know what? I even had one of my best friends from high school write to me. We don't speak on the phone. We don't talk. It's just kind of like a social media thing every now and then. Comments, I'll comment, whatever. And she sent me a message and she said, Hey, I can tell and I can feel that you are not being yourself right now. I can tell that something is going on with you that you don't feel happy and it's crazy because we don't even talk like that and I'm not gonna lie she actually nailed it because I actually didn't feel happy and I felt ugly and just sad and depressed and I thought I was alone but I felt so insecure just at the changes that my body was receiving so for a vlog like this to come out whether it's a good idea or not, I'm just doing it to help other women and other girls that maybe look up to me, maybe they think I'm pretty, maybe they think I'm cool, but I just know that when I was going through it, I saw other beautiful women kind of like post their stretch marks and what they were going through and it made me feel like I wasn't alone. So I hope I can be that voice for someone who's currently depressed or going through the pregnancy changes, not feeling happy because I see a lot of women say, oh, I feel the most beautiful when I'm pregnant and they're just showing off their body every week. And I never felt that way. Like I never ever felt that way. So, now, it's funny because had I made this video um, a couple months ago, I would this would have been a crying video. Like, I would have been crying. You guys would have been hearing me talk. It would have been a mess because of just how severely depressed I was. Um, but I don't feel like that anymore. I feel so happy. Um, I don't care anymore what... You know, if people look at me and call me fat or they think I'm fat or they think I've gotten ugly because of pregnancy, not that anyone says that. I'm just saying, if people do think that, I don't even freaking care. I don't even care because I just know that I'm doing this all for my son and I'm accepting my body changes and I know that when my son is here, I would do it all over again and I would go through the emotions of being depressed because honestly, pregnancy isn't difficult for me physically. It's difficult mentally. I can't tell you how many times I've called my friends crying or sent them paragraphs like this big of how I'm feeling. So they're really the ones who got me through this and Joel as well. And I just kind of wanted to share my journey and my story with whoever is lost as well you know i'm a first time mom so this is all new to me and i kind of wanted just to just uplift women and girls and help them through this difficult time so i'm doing it for you guys and i just want to show you guys my insecurities and that i'm also not perfect and that i went through something mentally to get to where i am today and now that my journey is almost over, I look back and think, wow, that was a tough journey for me mentally, but I'm, a, I'm embracing my new body now. I'm embracing my stretch marks. I'm happy. Um, I'll wear a bathing suit. And I cannot wait for my comeback. It's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. This is all the motivation I need to just come back after my son is born and just look amazing. So you guys stay tuned for that because I'm coming and I'm coming in hot. So yeah, I think um, 
I'm going to show you guys a little bit of my changes and my body changes and just what how I look right now, what I've been going through and I just want to say that I've used all the oils, the creams, I actually even started using a tummy scrub in the shower and I still got the stretch marks and they're getting bigger and I feel like they're getting a little darker too but um, I don't care. I don't care. This is for my son. This is for my baby. I love him so much already. I'm a grown woman and I knew what I was getting myself into when I wanted to get pregnant. It was just a little hard to accept the transition, but I'm here now and I just want to help you guys. So I'm going to have to call Joel out here because he's going to have to record for me because I can't, I can't do it by myself. I can't show you guys like that. So Joel's going to record and, um, I'm just going to show you guys my stomach. So please do not judge me um, or keep the mean comments to yourself. I'm just trying to do something good and I help and hope I can help anyone out there that was going through the same thing that I was. Okay, you guys. So Joel's recording now. Joel's saying, what's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> so he obviously needs to record me. Um, this is what I look like right now and... I try to wear crop tops because they make me feel cute and sexy and like I'm embracing my belly. Um, all I wear are these yoga pants because that's all I fit. I'm not going to lie. I wear Joel's pants all the time too. His sweatpants. That's all that fits me. So um, my body has really changed. I've always had big thighs. So I don't know. Joel, do you think like my legs look the same or... Yeah, they look the same. Yeah, I feel, I don't. If anything, if I wasn't wearing pants, I'm sure you guys, I feel like um, my cellulite has gotten a little worse. But that's because I haven't been good at working out. When I work out, it gets better, and I'm I don't really trip on it that much. But um, my arms have gotten bigger. I describe them like the eagle emoji. You know how the eagles like. And his legs are flapping. Um, it's one of my insecurities. But I'm pregnant. And I'm going to look good after. So I don't care. Um, my boobs have definitely changed. And that's all we're going to say. So this is my belly. And I'm going to show you guys my stretch marks. I have to pull down. You're going to see my underwear mark. Because believe it or not, I have gone up to XL in my underwear because my underwear kept going down. So now- But the XLs fit you huge. Yeah, but the XL underwear feels comfortable for me because it goes over my belly and all the other underwear goes below it and that's not comfortable. So um, I kind of want to look at myself in the mirror too while I do it. So follow me this way. Follow me this way, follow me this way. So these are my stretch marks that I've gotten and they started off with like three and now they're like at 20. I'm not sure, but um, I just try to ignore it and I just try to embrace it and just know that they might look different afterwards and I don't care because I'm still sexy. So that's that's what they look like. Those are my stretch marks. I embrace them. I don't care. They're tiger marks. They're lion marks. They're warrior marks. And yeah, this is me pregnant. So this is me from the side. My belly's pretty big. From the other side, I have a little roll. My belly. So my stretch marks are really just down here. They're not so much anywhere up here. Tell me what you guys think. Don't be too harsh on me. All right, you guys. So that was my little video of me revealing my stretch marks and my insecurities and the journey that I had to take for me to get here and be confident and strong and comfortable to show you guys that you're not alone. I also... You know, pregnancy has taken a toll on my self-esteem. I was someone who's extremely confident and I went from being confident to being extremely depressed. So I'm hiking up there. I'm almost up there again. And I don't care what anyone has to say. Um, I don't care if you don't support this vlog or if you think it was a bad idea that I did that. 
I know that there's other women out there who struggle the same way that I do mentally with the pregnancy changes. So I'm just doing this for them and trying to be a voice for them. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a like, a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And I promise you we are getting better at uploading on our regular schedule we've just obviously you guys know we're moving and the baby's coming and there's a lot of change going on but stay tuned because i cannot wait to share more with you guys i love you we love you and we'll see you guys next time peace